वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ प्रोफेशन इन प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड नाउ वी विल कंटिन्यू द सेम टॉपिक एंड वी वर डिस्कसिंग द पब्लिक सर्विस एंड एल्ट्रोइम पब्लिक सर्विस मीन्स द एक्टिविटीज और एनी प्रोफेशन और एनी एक्टिविटी विच इज डन अंडर एनी प्रोफेशन और ऑल द प्रोफेशनल्स they are basically doing good for the society when they are doing good for the society they are respected and there are some professions where there is altruism what is altruism altruism means selflessness professionals do not think of themselves they always think of others like paramedical staff like doctors like those who are doing social work like those where people have to communicate or people have to give services to the public then they do not think of themselves they become selfless they become altruism they they follow the altruism the three practices they practice the altruism and they do not think of themselves and they selflessness selflessnessly they give support to the public and they basically serve the public so students next topic is exclusion monopoly and legal recognition this is very important topic where those who do not meet the work requirements they are excluded license is cancelled degree is cancelled admission is cancelled acknowledgement is cancelled or admission is or acknowledgement is taken back monopoly monopoly means there are the rules of one institute and legal recognition and there is also some legal recognition in the society and when we talk about legal recognition it means it is recognized by the government or by the state next control of remuneration and advertising there should be a control of remuneration remuneration means the salary or the compensation that a person receives in urdu we say Mm-hmm. In Urdu, we say "muhafza." So, patients can control the remuneration and the advertising. After getting education. after getting education from any university from any college from any institute when any professional go to workplace it is a transitional phase from education to practical life or workplace in this transition phase we see different things happening in our profession environment first of all we'll see that a professional get a professional gets high status and rewards there are many professions where they get high status high status for example a professor a teacher he gets high status 
a doctor he's respected in the society a judge he's respected a lawyer respected an architect respected and not just respected but they are also given healthy and handsome reward number two individual clients in professional life they face individual clients there are some occupations or there are some professions which do not give very huge reward they are middle class occupations there are some occupations where we do not see many female workers doing any work and this and the that field is considered male dominating field male dominating field is because women are not accepted in this in the field or the tasks which are performed are only to be done by the male and these tasks are not performed by or cannot be performed by female there are many there are many activities or there are many professions where female workers are not or female workers are not required only male workers are required professions also offer reassurance yes the performances are good yes consequences will be better in workplace some activities become the ritual in different organization different activities are done which become ritual a ritual called rasmo rivaj these are the activities which are done in any professional environment next legitimacy any activity which is done by professional should be legitimate and in modern in modern time almost every activity of every every activity of profession is legitimate mm -hmm. so no one can do against the law or no one can do anything against the law next it is about in accessible body of knowledge sometimes you see there that there are some professions where the knowledge is inaccessible people cannot reach to the optimal level of knowledge when we go to workplace when we go to practical life we come to know that there are some fields which are not discussed by the intellectual indeterminacy of knowledge sometimes some knowledge is there but it is not determined it is not clear it is vague it mobility professions are or professions have the ability to mobile to move we cannot say that any professional or any person will be performing his duties by sitting or staying in one place no there is mobility there is movement and the end organizations or the professionals can move so let's move to the next slide students here as we have studied about 
professions in previous slides. Now we will try to understand who is a professional and what are his characteristics and what are his attributes and what are the criteria of a professional and what other attributes are related to this professional. Now we will see a professional who is a professional. Basically, a professional is a person or a professional is a member any person, any member of a vocation founded upon specialized educational training. Vocation is about profession or vocation is about any career. It means professional is a person who follows any career or any vocation or any profession after taking specialized training or education. It means if you are doing any job and after doing any job, if you choose any vocation, if you choose any profession, if you choose any career for yourself, you become a professional. Professional means there is a person who chooses any profession or chooses any career for himself after completing his education. So the word professional traditionally means a person who has obtained a professional doctoral level degree, a physician or lawyer or so on. So basically a professional person is the one who has received or who has gained knowledge or a degree in specific field. For example, a physician who has done something in the field of medicine or in medical field or a lawyer who has done uh, who has done LLB or LLM and after doing a complete degree from any institute or recognized institute, regular, recognized by any regularity body, a person has completed any degree, then he becomes, or then he will become a professional. So a, prof a person can become professional after having a degree from any institute or recognized institute. A true professional must be proficient in all criteria of the field of work they are practicing professionally. If a professional is working in any field, then the characteristic or the quality of a professional is to is that the, that the professional should be proficient in all the criteria of the field. It means a professional should fulfill all the needs and all the requirements and he should clear all the hurdles and obstacles of the education or of the profession. Then he will become a professional. Or, basic, or specifically, or to be exact, then he will become true professional. So there are some definitions of profession. A person who is paid for getting involved in particular profession in order to earn living as well as to satisfy the laws of profession. That means a profession is a person who is paid to get involved in particular profession. Any person who is involved in any profession and he is paid means he gets some remuneration as we studied in the last uh, slide and he is given some compensation or salary for living as well as to satisfy his laws of that profession. And he is not only doing something for his own earning, but he is also satisfying 
the laws of regularity body or laws of the state. The definition of professional is given differently by different experts. Let's see some more definitions. The definition by Robert L. Whitelaw. What he says? He says only consulting engineers who are basically independent and have freedom of cohesion can be called as professionals. Means professionals are those people who are independent, independent as we had studied in characteristics that professionals are or the profession is autonomous. And there isn't any coercion. There isn't any threat by anybody else. They are free from all coercions. They are free from all the threats which may come their way in practicing their, their professions. Number two, Samuel Foreman. But he says, professionals have to meet the expectations of client and employers. The professionals are those who fulfill the needs and expectations of number one, the customers or the clients. Number two, their boss or the organization they are working for or their employers. Professional restraint. Professional restraints are to be imposed by only laws and government regulations and not by person conscious. If we want to control any professional, then we can only control them or we can only ask them to work according to our wish only by the power of or by the virtue of law and legislation. No one can go to any professional and want to say him or say to him or ask him or direct him to change his activities as per my wish. No, my wish is not important. My wish cannot change the activities of any profession. My desire, my requirement will not make any change in the activity of a profession. Yes, laws of the country. Laws of the country, regulations of the regularity body. These are the things which will regulate or which will basically bring any professional in discipline. Otherwise, professionals are autonomous. They can do, they can perform their duty as per their wish, as per their will, as per their as per their requirement or as per their wish. And they are not bound to follow the instructions by any individual. But they can follow or they should follow the rules, regulations and the policies and terms and conditions of the regularity body or terms and conditions of government. Next, Mr. Mike and Ronald Schinzinger. Engineers are professionals when they attain standard of achievement in education. When engineers study for many years, they achieve a, speci uh, a specified standard, they become professional. So they become professional. Job performers or creativity in engineering and aspect and accept the most basic moral responsibilities to the public as well as employers, clients, colleagues, and subordinates. It means engineers become professional after getting education, and after getting education, they, they also come with some responsibilities. Responsibilities towards public, they should not harm the public, Employer, they should not make their organization to feel to face law uh, to face any loss. 
clients they should work hard to satisfy their clients or to satisfy the needs of their clients colleagues they should not be rude and they should not be damaging the their, their colleagues and subordinates they should be very helpful for the subordinates so these are some definitions of professional i hope that you will understand these definitions so let's see the criteria of a professional the criteria includes the following number 1 for a professional there should be some academic qualification as we have studied expert and specialized knowledge in field which is practicing professionally professionals should be should be should have specialized knowledge and they should be expert of the field they are working in number 3 excellent excellent manual or practical and literary skills and literary skills in relation to profession they should have excellent knowledge and practical about the specific field high quality work for example in his field a professional should be creative he should produce or the products and the services he is doing they should be some creation there should be some innovation presentation when they present something in their presentation of in the presentation of their product or service there should be excellence when they can when they are consulted by the clients they should the client should feel that they are discussing something with the professional primary and other research administrative and marketing or other work interviews so these are all the needs of a professional next a high standard professional ethics behavior and work activities while carrying out one's profession when a person is carrying out any any profession he should be he should be bound to the professional ethics and he should behave in the way that his activities are as per and according to the requirements of the society or requirements of the organization as an employee self employed person career enterprise business company or partnership associate colleagues whatsoever your role is whether you are an employee you are professional you should behave as per the rules when you are self employed you should behave as professional when you have partnership business you should behave like professional when you associate you are linked with any other organization you should be you should act as professional and when you are a colleague you should act as professional you should not pull the legs of your colleagues you should not take the credit of your work you should be very professional in trades there are some people who are doing trade but when we talk about any trade we should know that professionalism should be there so in narrow using not all expertise is considered a profession although sometimes referred to as professions such occupations as skilled construction of work are more generally thought of as trade craft trades or crafts the completion of an apprenticeship is generally associated with skilled labor or trades such as carpenter electrician plumber bricklayer and the other similar occupations a related distinction would be that professional does not mean mental or administrative work as opposed to engaging in physical work 
sorry a professional does mainly mental and administrative work as opposed to engaging a physical work many companies include the word professional in the company's name to signify the quality of their workmanship or service so here is a difference that the one who is doing mental or administrative task is a professional but those who are doing physical or do who are engaged in any work which is physical work they are not called professionals next we have professional ethics in professional ethics students we have to see and as we have studied that the code of conduct or the code of ethics is something which has to be followed so professional code of ethics concerns the moral issues these are the moral issues which are which arise because of the specialist knowledge that professionals attain and how the use of this knowledge should be governed when providing the service to the public when a person is giving any service in public for example any doctor any engineer any doctor any engineer or any other professional who is performing duty in public or who is giving any service to the public there is a code of ethics which should be followed by him we will study this topic in detail and we will also try to understand some examples in next video till then wait and inshallah we will start the uh, the remaining topics in next video